And other new severe weather hit a power pole in Jackson this morning, causing the transformer to go up in flames. When News 12 got to the scene, small flames could be seen coming from the ignited pole. Beach Island fire crews were able to smother it. Dominion Energy crews were also in the area working to fix the power outage from the blown transformer. More than 600 people were without power this morning after severe weather stormed across the CSRA. According to the Georgia Power Outage Map, 118 customers in the Glen Hills area were impacted, but their power was restored around 930 this morning. A few customers off of Mike Paget Highway are expected to be without power until 1 o'clock. Millions of people are cleaning up after a second day of severe weather tore the roofs off homes and snapped trees in Kentucky, Tennessee and Indiana, where at least 10 people were hurt. There were a dozen reports of tornadoes touching down from Alabama all the way up to Ohio. Dave Malkoff has the details. Holy destructive and powerful winds barreled through parts of West Virginia Tuesday, including downtown Charleston and to the west in Hanging Rock, Ohio. Campers on their side. Oh, dear Lord. Violent winds decimated this RV park. This literally took 15 seconds. Those violent storms hammered a dozen states Tuesday, tearing neighborhoods to shreds. At the University of Kentucky in Lexington, the winds were so extreme, this student was knocked off their feet. At 517, our first outdoor war warning sirens went off across the city. Violent storms around Louisville left behind so much damage, the area now has a huge cleanup project to tackle. I will be declaring a state of emergency uh, for the entire Jefferson County. The high winds not just causing damage to homes and businesses, but also mayhem on the roads from Louisville to Jeffersonville, Indiana, where big rigs proved no match for the winds where this driver was fortunately able to escape. Back here in Tennessee, residents in Sunbright were shocked to see the wreckage left behind. Well, it's just a gut punch to, to see your town and see these old buildings just demolished. The tornado likely struck just after 5.15 p.m leaving the local funeral home in ruins, and the owner stunned. I really didn't think a whole lot about it. I was really surprised when, you know, when I got up here and seen all this damage. Yeah, that funeral home is right on the other side of this building, right in the heart of town of just 500 people. It came apart. It crushed these two cars right here, and people were almost sucked out of their houses on this street. But the tornado warning came out. They had 15 to 20 minutes worth of warning, and that saved lives here. Nobody was killed. Dave Malkov, CBS News in Sunbright, Tennessee.